Hi, this is Charlie Adler with I Drink on the Job with Gina Knox with Fire and Flavor. Gina, uh, Gina tell me a little bit about your product. Uh, I, you, you've got this cedar paper. I'd never heard of it. Yeah, what what are, exactly is it? These are great. They're really fun for summer. Um, it's actually similar to a cedar grilling plank. It's uh, a veneer of a cedar plank. So you basically just take the paper and once you soak it in water, it becomes really bendable and you can wrap it around any kind of fish or seafood or vegetables. And it comes with cotton string and you tie it up. And the beauty of these is you can actually cook one on, on your outdoor grill or in an indoor grill pan. And they just soak them for 10 minutes, wrap them, and you grill your fish in about 5 or 10 minutes. Now you say fish. Is that, is that because it's steamed so it wouldn't be able to cook a lot of meats? It need, you need no, something. you can do like, I do chicken, I do fish or shrimp, and I'll do vegetables. Okay. Um, and it really infuses kind of a real subtle smoky flavor to the food. You put that right on a hot grill? Yeah, literally? it will not catch on fire. Because products. of the water, so the moisture. How's that work? Tell me how that works. Well, I mean, just, it's just, it's actually Western Red Cedar, just 100% untreated, all natural, sustainable, and just the, the smoke basically from the wood naturally uh. infuses the food with a little flavor. And At what point does it burn though? Is there a point? Or that would be so long that you have to worry a, about It'd be a good while after your food's done. Gotcha. Um, and, in, and granted, you want your grill on about medium to medium low heat. Okay. So don't heat your grill to 550 degrees. Oh, okay. Now you tell work. me. Yeah. I was going to yeah. sit there. So yeah. That's the key is your temperature. But um, but it really does. It, it's just such a cool way to do a presentation on food. And you see, you know, putting that on a dinner plate for your friends would be quite impressive. So you could actually serve, that actually could be a serving, uh, like just like that. You could literally yeah. serve it and they could take off the, the tape or whatever. Exactly. Or whatever. Just serve the whole cedar paper, like, kind of like you do fish and parchment, you know, uh -huh. they peel the papers back. So. so what made you decide to get into the uh, the cedar plank okay. business? Uh, well, you were you know, in a, a lumber yard at some point or no? No, I love to cook and I read about plank grilling about six or seven years ago okay. and couldn't find them anywhere. So. I um, ordered some online from a little website up in the Pacific Northwest, tried it out and thought, this is way too easy, too delicious to do for people not to be doing this on an everyday basis. Now you're a southerner, I assume, correct? I am. What What is the southern connection? Do you cook foods that are also southern with a style or is it the barbecue connection on the grill? Well, you know, I, I obviously love grilling, but kind of in, in separate with Fire and Flavor, I do have a southern food blog and I have a new southern cookbook coming out on oh, November 1st. Which is right here, Gourmet yeah. Made Simple. Okay. No, actually, it's Oh, sorry, way. sorry about that. <laughs> this is the new book. See, I didn't even know this. This is a talk, talk about off the cuff interviews, Southern My Way, okay. Which will be on November 1st, and it's um, a lot of Southern recipes that I grew up with. But they've kind of been given a, a little bit of a lighter approach. Okay. Or blended with some contemporary flavors. So What's your favorite recipe in the book? What, what, do, you, oh, what, what do you want to tell everyone about? You know, there's a fabulous um, bacon and grilled cheese and spinach stuffed Vidalia onions. Ooh. Uh, there's a picture of them right there. On wow, the that sounds the super good. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I, could, I could actually tell that one. Those are delicious. Wow. So it's, um, it's it's good everyday recipes, but they have a, a southern you know flair to them. Right. But they don't start with two sticks of butter, so it's, uh, <laughs> right. it's, it's a little, a little bit healthier way to do now, it. In now, I didn't even ask you. Are you a wine drinker, or what, what's your beverage of choice? Oh, I love wine. I so love what, wine. what do you drink? What well, you? all summer I usually drink uh, rosés, or I also love you know verde. Okay. Or a good summer wine. Portugal. Yeah. Um, but you know I, I like it all. I mean I, I really do. It just kind of depends on the weather. And my are you food. a beer drinker too, or cocktails? No, I don't. I don't drink beer. I like scotch, but I, I drink mostly wine. All right. And do you like your iced tea? With sugar or with that? Oh, uh, with sugar. Of course. Okay. Well, thanks, <laughs> Gina, for your interview. Thank you. <laughs>